Okay, so we saw in the previous video what characterizes whether the flow of fluid is laminar or turbulent. Uh, well, it depends on, remember, the speed of the fluid, the shape that the fluid is moving past, moving around, and the fluid's viscosity, its ability to resist shear stress. Okay? So we'll, we'll now look at this again. Let's look at some examples of fluid flowing around an object. Let's first look at this. Here we have a, uh, an object, a stationary object. And we are going to consider a fluid with zero viscosity, which doesn't exist. <clears throat> but it just gives us a bit of an example of, of how this fluid would flow. As you can see, we have the velocity of the fluid, or the fluid that um, hasn't really come near the object yet. It's all got a constant velocity moving in this direction. And it's going at low speeds, okay, and zero viscosity. So all that means, because there's zero viscosity, it means that there's no friction between this object and the fluid. There's no friction. So that means the fluid, as it moves past here, the surface over here, it's going to have the same velocity as there, as there, as there. So the velocity profile um, at the surface and far away from the surface is just going to be constant. Okay? So the velocity, there's no slowing down of this uh, fluid. It simply moves in this kind of pattern and continues to, to go on. However, what the textbook says here is such totally non-viscous fluids don't exist. Okay. However, they say examining these models provides useful insights. Okay. So what we've seen here is simply that because of the zero viscosity, Downstream velocity is the same as upstream velocity. Okay, nothing has changed. It's simply moved in this kind of pattern. However, a more realistic uh, fluid that has does have viscosity, meaning non-zero viscosity, this was zero, at low speeds, low speed with viscosity. Let's see what happens. So you've got that same initial upstream velocity of the fluid. It then impacts, encounters the object. And notice here what happens here is that because of the friction between the fluid and the object, the velocity of the fluid here is zero. Right at the surface, the velocity of the fluid is zero at the object surface. But far away from the object, it it has kept its velocity, okay? Its velocity remains the same far away. That makes sense, right? Far away from the surface, it just carries on going as it would normally. However, at the surface, the velocity is zero. And then what happens is uh, you have this kind of velocity profile as you move away from the, from the surface. Towards the surface, the velocity gets smaller and smaller. Moving away, it gets larger and larger. And each layer, this is important, guys, each layer uh, exerts a shear stress on the, bottom, on the previous layer, on the lower layer. That layer, <clears throat> can you imagine, you've got this velocity there. Okay, it's got a certain momentum. It's got a certain force. Okay, a certain, um, yeah, certain momentum. And then you've got a, a layer right below it that is moving more slowly. It's moving more slowly than this, up, this top layer. And because of this difference in velocities, you are, there is a shear stress between these two layers. Shear stress. Okay? Shear stress. Okay? But at low speeds, this shear stress... Uh, they exert a shear stress, and but at low speed with viscosity, 
then it follows this kind of pattern. So let's see what what they're saying here. So just to remind you, at the object surface, the viscous fluid is stationary, okay, because of friction between the fluid and the and the surface. Okay, that's exactly what we just spoke about. Because the viscosity is non-zero, adjacent layers, meaning layers next to each other of fluid, exert shear forces on each other with the faster moving layers trying to speed up. Right? The faster moving layers trying to speed up the, the slower moving ones. So that one's trying to speed that one up, it's trying to speed that one up. And what happens is it causes energy dissipation. Okay? causes energy dissipation. Okay.